Welcome to Holy Bar. We are finishing off our series about God's love story, where we started talking about God is love. Now here currently we're leading into Easter. And so the Lord has just been showing me what a beautiful love story, an intimate, connected, powerful love story that he has created for you and for me. And so we've been walking through, and so we are in part four. If you've missed the first few, you can go back anytime and watch them on our YouTube channel. But briefly, to walk through, what we started with was the idea that God is love. And originally, this heart was right side up. Because God is love. We've heard that, but what does that really mean? Yes, he is loving, but what does it mean that God is in and of himself is love. Well, the beautiful thing that I read from Tara Lee Cobble in her study on the Trinity called He's Where the Joy Is, is in talking about the Trinity, we have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. And among that triangle, that three in one, those three aspects of God love each other. They glorify each other. They work together. So the love that we experience is just an outpouring, just an overflow of the love that we have here in the center of all that God is, all of his love. And the other beautiful thing with this love story is whenever we receive just the overflow, our receiving our love is not dependent upon our behavior, on our appearance, on our performance, how well we check off that Christian checklist. No, it is the unconditional overflow, outpouring of God's love. So then as he works in us and through us, we just naturally respond with love for others. And we talked about that, that <laughs> this kind of love, this love story, turns the world's view of love upside down. It turns the world's view of religion upside down. It turns everything upside down. And so that's why now the cross is upside down up here because God is love so much so that he gave his son. God the son came to earth as Jesus Christ and died on the cross, carried our sin, our shame, our pain, our struggles, our wounds, all of it, hanging on the cross. He died, went into darkness, and then rose again on the third day so that we can savor and enjoy his love story for us to an even greater extent and to an eternal extent. So it now has become an eternal love where we remain connected. God the Spirit is now in us and active. And so we have God the Father who continues to author that beautiful love story for us. God the Son accomplished the love story but continues to accomplish things in our lives and is at work every day. And then God the Spirit applies this beautiful, personal, unique love story specifically to our heart and helps us as we move through, keeping our gaze up as it hangs on the cross. So we can see... The cross that symbolizes so much and is probably crucifixion probably doesn't fit into any hallmark love stories or any rom-coms but at the same time God created us for love he created us for beauty he created us for joy all the things that we pursue here on earth but we're not going to find them here on earth <laughs> it's a beauty that never fades it's a love beyond that has no end it is a joy that is complete but those come from the cross, not from the things of this world. And so because of what he did on the cross now, we get to be part of the royal family. We get to spend eternity in heaven with our Lord Jesus, the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, all of it. And so as we move through this just 20 minute workout, we are gonna celebrate and worship and move our body in honor of our king and celebrating all that he has done and is continuing to do. So I invite you just to grab and pull up any playlist that truly lights your fire. There are tons of Holy Bar playlists if you want to search on Spotify. Currently I've created a Holy Bar Dash Easter that was 
put together by Holy Bar. Look for that whenever you put it. If you want to do that one or just pick whatever is fast paced and upbeat as we move through. We're going to move our bodies. We're going to breathe deeply because what if fitness was just a tool to get God's breath in your lungs? We don't need any weights, just space to move. Now join us, hit play on whatever that playlist is, and we're just going to take our legs wide, toes facing me, and go side to side. Send that tailbone back, press into those heels. Heavenly Father, we praise you for all that you're doing. Lord, as we celebrate you, your amazing love story, all that you did on this earth whenever you sent your son, all the things that Jesus Christ here walking on holy ground represents, and even more dying on the cross, going through the ultimate pain and sacrifice of the crucifixion, but knowing that he overcame death, that the story wasn't finished whenever the curtains of the temple tore, but it was just the beginning of what you had authored so beautifully for us. Lord, may we move forward in that freedom and that grace and that power that you desire. And then may we just respond in love and obedience, knowing that you have what's best for us and you know what is best for us. Lord, may we keep our eyes on you. And as we move through this workout, we ask that you clear our minds, you calm our souls, you fill our hearts, and you strengthen our bodies. In your precious name, amen. Come on, let's add those arms. We're going to do big movements to get us nice and warm, really press into those heels. Now we're going to lift high. Stretch that side body. Lengthen those legs. Reach that arm over. Four, three, two, and last one. Now I want you to, to bring those heels in. Turn the toes and knees out 10 and 2 and just pulse it low. Four, three, two. Sink it down. I want those arms out and we just rotate. We aren't going to do specific arm workouts. And we probably won't do a bunch of even focused ab workout, but throughout this entire movement series, I want you to keep that core engaged, that belt of truth wrapped firmly around your waist. And we're going to move our arms. Let's keep going. Four, three, two, now sink low and high low and high we're gonna do a few slow then we'll pick it up y'all ready now you just go to whatever beat your music has go as fast or as slow as you'd like just keep breathing four three two i want you to add a leg lift Four, three, two, and last one. Sink it down. Arms out. Twist, center. Twist, center. We're going to drop that back knee. Give me a lunge. Keep breathing. Come on. Y'all want to speed it up? Let's do it. My hips are staying low, right? We aren't standing up. Four, three, two, Last one, pulse it here. We're gonna move into curtsy lunges. I wanna get your heart rate up. I wanna get those big breaths. So keep breathing with me. Keep your gaze towards me. Stay low. 
Arms out, this side moves first. Tap, center, tap, center. We'll start slow, then pick it up. It's curtsy lunges because it looks like you're curtsying for the queen. Your leg goes back a little further. Y'all ready to speed it up? Keep your gaze towards me. Keep those hips low. We're not straightening up with those thighs. I know you're burning. Four. Three. Two. And hold it here. I want you to keep your knees opposite directions, back heels lifted, and we're just gonna pulse it. Roll those shoulders back, core tight. Nice, just pulse it here. Most of your weight's on that front leg. It's burning, now hold it low. Tap out and back. You can keep your leg turned out, or if you want, just straighten it up. Whichever feels better. You can tell that they kind of work different areas. Whenever your knee is straight forward, you're gonna dig into that heel and really get more of that glute work. Whenever your foot's at an angle, you strengthen more of the inner outer thigh, right? Do what you want. If you wanna add those arms, it's just gonna get your heart rate up. Four, three, two, take it other side. Pulse it here. Straight back, core tight. Just let those arms hang at your side. Front leg has most of the weight, back heels lifted. Come on, whatever you're jamming out to, don't take yourself so seriously. You can have some fun. Four, three, two, hold it low. Tap out and in. Add those arms if you want. Again, you can keep this front leg out toward the side or just straighten up. The key is to dig into that heel though, okay? Four, three, Two, take it wide, pulse. Come on, sink it low. Figure eight with those hands. Drop those hips, push those knees back and out. Shoulders down, core tight. Right here, you can even lift your pelvic floor. Do those little kegels. Four, three, two. Now take it this direction. Turn your body, shift your weight forward into this front leg. We're gonna extend our arms forward or you can keep them down or out, whichever you want. We raise and lower that back leg. If you need to put your hand on a counter, a wall, a chair back, doorknob, to help with stability, feel free. You can even put your hands in prayer and press those palms together to engage those arms. Four, three, two, hold it high. You can even pulse it if you'd like or just freeze. Focus on that core, make sure that belly's pulled up. Four, three, two, hold it high, eight, seven, come on, six, five, have a good bend in this standing leg, three, two, Set that back leg back and drive that knee.
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. March it out. Let those legs stretch, stand tall, stretch out that spine, shoulders back. Yes, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's look at it. Other leg back. Shift your weight into that front leg. Give me a good bend. Extend those arms forward. Out. Back. Prayer. We raise and lower that back leg. Here we go. Keep breathing. Come on. Eight. Seven. Pull that belly up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it high. Pulse. Or just stand still. Come on. You guys got it. Keep going. You can keep your gaze towards the floor. I don't want you to put too much strain on your neck. Keep that belly pulled up. Four, three, two. Set that foot back. Drive that knee. Really crunch those abs as you bring that knee up. Four. Three, two, and last one. March it out some more. Nice work. Okay, just a little bit more, then we'll take it to the mat, okay? I want you to be in that first position, heels together, shoulders back, knees out, core tight, spine neutral, Slide down that wall, and we just pulse it right here. Big inhale, big exhale. One more. Nice. Two down, two up. Four. Three, two, hold it low, hips, side to side. Option, you can lift those heels, get a little releve if you would like, speed it up. Come on, odds are you're in the privacy of your own home. You can have some fun. Four, three, two, take those hips as you go down and up, down and up, slow and up, faster, one more slow, and we pulse. Press those heels together, knees out, shoulders back, core tight. Woo! Four, three, two, hold it low. Butterfly those knees. Just means I'm sending them back and forth like wings. Nice. You guys got it. Four, three, two, Slow and controlled, heels together, take it low, 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 as low as you can. Woo! Then slowly come up, stand tall, hands above your head, squeeze those glutes, shoulders down and back. Beautiful. Let's take it down. I want you on all fours. 
We're going to start with an isolated ab work, even though I hope you've been working your abs this whole time. We're going to curl those toes under. Let those knees hover right above the mat. We lift and lower, barely lifting, just an inch or two, four, three, two, now just hold, just hold them right above the mat. Woo, come on, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come on, lift again, lift up, 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 up. Okay, now I'm going to distract you. <laughs> After we do a few floor exercises, we're just going to lay on our mats and be still. So be thinking about a slow song, a slow worship song that just calms your soul and have that in mind, ready to play whenever I say if you're listening to any holy bar workout, most of them, especially the ones that are 40 to 50 minutes, the song right before this little light of mine, the very last one will be a cool down song, okay? Four, three, two, and lower it down. Spread those knees apart. Press down into child's pose. Give me a good stretch. We're going to come back up onto all fours, move one leg, we take it straight out, straight back, straight out, straight back. Keep your hips facing the floor. Keep going. Pull that belly button up to the spine. Try to have your back be as flat as possible. Four, three, two. Take it straight out again. Your knee is going to stay this high. You extend your leg back and bring it in, but keep that knee up. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Lower it down. Same thing, other side. We take it out, we take it back. We take it out, we take it back. Your chest. Your hips, your belly button are facing your mat. Your gaze is at your mat as well. Just about a foot above those fingertips. Belly button pulled up. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Now we keep it out to bring in. Keep that knee high. You guys got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. You could press back into child's pose. Final thing is going to be some push ups. Feel free to do them like me where my knees are on the ground. But I want, as you press back, I want your elbows about 90 degrees. I mean, 45 degrees, okay? Don't have your elbows straight out. Don't have them totally down. But right here, okay? We're just going to go. Go at your pace. Breathe through it, though. After this, we roll over and lay on our mat. Don't stop now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, hold it at the bottom. Pull that belly up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower down. As my four and a half year old son would say, tricked ya. But it's okay, that extra push was good for your body, right? Okay, I want you to lay down on your back. Now is the time to press play on that slower song. I want you to let your legs lay out, open those toes wide, relax your toes, your ankles, relax those kneecaps, your thighs, let your hips fall open, let your belly relax, all the movement that needs to be occurring is just due to your breath, arms are to your side, palms open, fingertips relaxed. Shoulders open, even your chin is relaxed, your eyebrows, all of it, and you're just breathing. Use this time to pray, worship, just savor the quiet, being still and resting is just as good for your body as is exercise. It's good for your brain, it releases dopamine. It's good for your heart and your soul. And it's good for your body. The Lord himself says to be still and know that I am God. I mean, he overcame death and rose from the grave. I think he's got everything else under his control. If you're struggling to connect with the Lord, as you lay here, close your eyes and just ask him to give you images. Often we're visual in our communication and the Lord is ready and willing to put faces or places or various truths in your mind. Keep breathing. Just a few more seconds, four, three, two, I want you to slowly sit up, you can turn and face me, extend those legs forward, point and flex your toes and your feet. I want you to take a big inhale and fold over as you exhale, reaching for those toes, those ankles, stretch those hamstrings in your back. Big inhale, exhale again as you fold further. Slowly roll up, grab one knee, pull it up to your chest. The foot is over that opposite thigh. Press it down and twist. Switch it up. Other leg. 
hug it, place that foot down, twist, four, three, two, come back forward, crisscross applesauce, take those arms out, thumbs up, just tiny circles, Reverse the direction. Now you can bring them forward. Turn, thumbs down as you press back. Thumbs up as you come forward once more. Down. Now slowly come to the balls of your feet. Hover here. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to connect, to worship, to move our bodies Lord, may we continue to seek ye first, because we know that whenever we seek you, all the other things that have worldly value, they aren't necessarily bad things, but we want to keep our eyes on the eternal, knowing that whenever we seek you first, all the other things will be given to us as we need. Thank you for your incredible love story. May we continue to pursue it and live in the freedom and love and power and grace of it. In your precious name, amen. Slowly raise those hips. I want you to take a big inhale as you reach high. Exhale as you lower those arms. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Thank you for joining us. Continue to burn bright, knowing that we are better together. I look forward to joining you here again. But find your people, do life with others, and savor those the Lord has put around you as we savor and celebrate all that he did up on the cross and continues to do for us as part of his beautiful love story. Enjoy the rest of your day.